Hi, I'm Colin with Peninsula Solar, and today I want to show you around your solar arc. So today I want to show you around basic features and settings on your solar arc, um, starting with just what some of the displays and flips and switches do on your uh, device. So notice that there are two metal clasps on the side opening up the internals of your Solark system. This particular one is a Solark 8K. They can be found on the internal sticker there. Uh, the different models that are currently available are the 5, 8, 12, and 15K. Uh, however, most of the setup will be very similar between the different models. So what we have internally here is a couple different breakers inside. And let me kind of walk through them. On the right hand, we have our different AC breakers. So alternating current breakers, it has nothing to do, it's not any kind of direct power from solar or battery, so this is coming from your main breaker panel or from the grid as labeled here. From left to right, we have grid, gen, and load. Grid for most people, if on grid, are, is coming from a breaker on your main service panel that then goes to most likely in some kind of AC disconnect outside, then to this breaker here that then feeds the solar with power from the grid. It then mixes with whatever kind of input power you have, whether that be solar battery or others um, inside the solar and then comes out our load breaker here. Load goes to, in most cases, a battery essential loads panel. And that's for most on-grid systems when we separate partially the loads in the house to a critical loads panel and a non-critical loads panel. The non-critical being your main service panel that feeds the grid. And then like I said, the loads panel is from the loads output breaker here. There is a gen breaker in the middle. This is more of an auxiliary breaker that feeds in from a generator or other sources or out to a smart loads panel or something of the sort. In many cases, it's not being used uh, and so just know whether that's your case or not. On the left hand side we find um, a couple things revolving around the DC side of our uh, solar. This DC stands for direct current, it's what the kind of power solar panels and batteries produce. The big breaker labeled battery is going to the batteries, the direct cutoff between the device and your battery system. And then if you look up on the left hand side of your device, there is a PV disconnect. That is your solar disconnect. PV standing for photovoltaic disconnect. Also found over here is a little dongle coming out the side. This is what connects you to your local Wi-Fi. Red light meaning power is on. Green light meaning power is on and it is connected to the local uh, Wi-Fi network. Further, we have a screen here. This is a touch screen LCD display up top here. Uh, it displays the real-time energy flow of the system. You can see in this particular case, we have solar on the far left hand side. This is a single directional arrow that comes into the solar arc, represented kind of by the dials here. So in this case, we are producing 0.61 kilowatts, so 610 watts of power coming from our solar panels. I say single directional arrow because the solar will only ever produce energy going into it and will never the arrows will never turn around and go back to the solar panels. Now, here, this grid symbol comes from the actual energy consumed from your local utility, or in an off-grid case, it might be your, from your generator. Now, this arrow can be bidirectional in an on-grid case because we can sell energy back to the grid or we're purchasing energy. The measurement for this, in many cases, will be 
what your entire home is consuming and not just what your critical loads is consuming. Just to the one more to the side here, we have a light bulb representing the loads inside our house. You can see in this case, we aren't consuming much power within the home. And this is also one of those single directional arrows unless we have advanced settings on. This is most always going to be a arrow going directly towards the light bulb um, because the light bulb in most cases does not produce energy. And then we have another setting here which is gonna be our battery. Now, our battery is another bi-directional arrow. Right now you can see that it's charging. It's charging at 3.9 kilowatts, represented by that negative three, because negative would mean that the battery is absorbing the 3,900 watts. So the touch LED or LCD display screen can be manipulated by touch, as I mentioned in the name. We can find different basic features, like how much solar we're incurring on the day, uh, how much grid we're using or selling back to, as well as a bunch of hard values uh, surrounding the whole system if we then touch on the battery symbol. This can all be also accessed by the up and down arrows if you see the green box rotating around and pressing enter on the associated symbol. We also have the gear icon in the upper right hand corner you have to be a little bit of a finger sniper to hit it. This one can only be accessed by touch, but if you touch in the upper right hand corner, we can get to our advanced settings screen here, which might come in handy if we are looking to change internal settings. So I hope the basic recap of some of the switches and breakers, as well as the display screen on the Solark was helpful, and have a great day.